Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Run and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and the year is gone. Literally 2017, <laughs> this is it. It is, and it's so hard to believe. I think you said this was our 75th show since we started. This is show number 75, and it has flown by. Everything has flown by. It's amazing to me that this is going to be our last show for this year, mm -hmm. that it just is mind-boggling. But let's turn that around into something that, that everybody can even relate to, and that's New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. And it could be somebody's New Year's resolution to get into that new house or get out of the one they're in and sell it. And you can help take care of either one of those. Absolutely, and you would be surprised how often that actually falls on the New Year's resolution list. We really? actually hear that quite a bit. So if that is something that you have a goal for the upcoming year, mm -hmm. definitely give us a call and we'll see what we can do to help. All right, well, we'll give you a jump start on that and show you five listings that could be your new home. One of these listings could be your New Year's resolution. Absolutely. Let's start uh, in the Coal Run community. This one is on Ratliff Branch Road. Yes, this one is one we have talked about it before, and this one is just a really exciting listing. It's over 3,000 square feet, sits right off US 23, has a really nice yard, three car garage. It has all those extras. It checks the, the boxes on oh, yes. most people's lists. And the, by looking at the pictures, you think automatically, well, this is a farm, you know, out in a farm country, uh, but this is four tenths of a mile off of US 23. Uh, and Ratliff Branch Road is, just as you enter Coal Run, leaving Pikeville if you're going north on 23. This is one, and you can see in the pictures, it just has a lot of curb appeal. You've got the big front porch, you've got all the yard space, most of it is fenced, so kids, dogs, anything wow. like that. And then the back deck, which we've got kind of a distant picture on, is huge. If you love to grill, if you mm -hmm. like the outdoor space, if someday you want to add a pool, you already have that deck built and it really is a great place for entertaining. And then on the inside, like you said, you're over 3,000 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. I mean, this is a very large house. It is, and my favorite thing about this house, it has a very functional layout. So you've got a formal living room, a formal dining room, but they're both fairly open to the other rooms. You've got kind of a back family room mm -hmm. off that deck. You've got an upstairs room that's open off the stairs, but is big enough for an office or a library, or if you've got kids, a playroom or something like wow. that. So it has a lot of functions with the rooms that are in the house. And the Cape Cod style is popular. A mm -hmm. lot of people with the dormers and the big front porch, uh, like you said, curb appeal, a lot of people can just look at that and say, I can see myself there. Right, right. It does have a lot of curb appeal. It's a very appealing house. and. Again, the three-car garage, mm -hmm. it has finished attic space for extra storage. It's, you know, it just has all those extras. And like Jennifer said, you can do a drive-by on this one, but as far as inside walking through, the best thing you can do if you're interested is to go ahead and schedule showing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is your listing on this one. The price on this is 345000 but everything you're getting plus a half-acre lot, definitely worth looking at. So let's give the Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, now moving on to the next listing. Now, this one is also in Pike County, but outside the Pikeville city limits, going up 119 like you're going to go to Williamson. Correct. This one is, the address is Bent Branch Road. Mm -hmm. If the easiest way to go about it is to actually go on up to the Mita exit, you're going to take that exit and go back on Bent Branch, and you're only, I think it's the second driveway on the left. You'll see our Red Brian and Williams sign down by the road, and the house actually sits up on the hill. So when you see that sign, kind of look up above it, and you'll see the house up on the hill. And this layout is popular because a lot of people like the split foyer and the, mm -hmm. and the different things that that offers. Exactly. It offers a lot of room on both floors. It right. gives you the options to have those living areas on both floors. And the great thing about this one, in the basement area or the below grade area, it offers a full bathroom with a shower, mm -hmm. offers a really nice size utility room or a large walk-in closet, however you feel like to use it. And then it's got a family room with a fireplace 
which could also, because you've got a closet and you've mm -hmm. got a full bath, could make a really nice master suite or mother-in-law suite if that was a need. Right, and you talked about that below grade area. You're talking about 600 square feet. So that's a huge area that, that you've got. Exactly, it's a huge area that can be whatever you needed it to be. Three bedrooms and two baths on this one. Uh, so, and, and that is before you even look at making those changes in that below grade area. Exactly. And the below grade already has a bathroom that's not necessarily counted in those mm -hmm. two baths. So on that main floor, you've got another three bedrooms and a one and a half bath on the main floor. So you really yeah. have a lot of options. So a lot of space on this one. And then you've got the private location. You know, we talked about where it was. You're just within 10 minutes of, of Pikeville. But then again, if, if you're going to go to the Belfry area or the Williamson area, I mean, it's pretty much halfway almost. Yeah, you're pretty much halfway between the two. Very convenient to both areas within 10 minutes of Belfry or Pikeville. So yeah, this one is, is going to fit a lot of molds mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's flexible on the layout. It's flexible where the location is. So I think a lot of people are going to be going, wow, this is one we need to look at. Now this is your listing as well. It is. Okay, now let's give your email address okay. on this one. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, moving to the next one, let's go back into Pikeville. This one isn't downtown, but it's in the Bowles edition, which is very close. It is. You're still on the city limits, of course, right off US 23 mm -hmm. in the Bowles edition. And this is one, we've again, we've talked about this one before. It is a 2,700 square foot house that just has just about every amenity you could want. I love the pictures on this one because it shows that they have taken the time to put in all those little extras, all the updates. And this is one, you don't get to say this very often, but this is a one owner house. Oh, so wow. you also have that pride of since it was built in 1980, these people have been the ones taking care of it. So that also helps. They've like you said, they mm -hmm. have updated it. It's got hardwood almost throughout, uh, granite countertops. They've really gone in and updated it with the time, but keeping that charm and the very homey feeling. And this is a great neighborhood. You're talking about, technically, I believe this is Middle Bowls edition. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see this home from US 23 if you're going uh, northbound, if you're leaving the city of Pikeville, you can look over to your right and see this home and it's got a great yard. It does. It has a great yard and my favorite thing about the yard personally, mm -hmm. it has a brick patio out back that I think is just perfect entertaining space. Now it doesn't have a pool, plenty of room if you wanted to do a pool at some right. point, but it also, it just has a very welcoming feeling in the backyard. Well this entire neighborhood is welcoming. Mm -hmm. At any point, uh, in the evenings when the warmer months, or even in the colder months, you're going to see people walking, walking the dogs, pushing the strollers, and everybody seems to just be friendly and neighborly with each other. So this is a great neighborhood, great home in that neighborhood. The price on this one is four hundred forty-nine thousand, uh, and you're getting a whole lot for that. So drive by, take a look at it, or give Jennifer a call, uh, and let's give your number out. Okay, the number six zero six four three seven two three three three. Okay. Now moving to the next one that we're talking about, this one is in the Pikeville city limits, but it's, it's right on the edge. It is. It is <laughs> literally you can throw a rock and hit the line from this one, from the yard. And um, this is on Nightingale Lane. So if you're familiar with Pikeville, you're going to go mm -hmm. through Cedar Creek through Cedar Hills, after you make that right. left-hand turn, you're gonna go over the mountain, which actually technically takes you into Island Creek, and you're gonna make almost an immediate right on Nightingale Lane. But one of the things you that you're gonna see on this one, and you just talked about, is this brand new deck. Yes, they have just gone in and redone all of the rear decking. And you can see in the pictures, I included two different pictures mm -hmm. um, on it because Again, I guess my theme today is entertaining space, but this deck to me screams cookouts and mm -hmm. kids playing and dogs running around. It just is, it, it feels like an entertaining space. Right, and this one is over half an acre, so another huge lot, and you, you've included a really good picture of the front of it to show that yard. Exactly, it's got a huge yard, and the thing you can't see from this picture you have a two-car attached garage, mm -hmm. and then you also have a detached two-car garage that's oversized on the opposite side of the house Wow! that also goes with it. So if you love those outdoor toys, if you have a boat, and it was right. actually built to fit a boat, so I know a lot of garages mm -hmm. are long enough. 
um, campers, anything like that, you have space for that as well. Right, you've got your side-by-side, your four-wheelers, mm -hmm. and this is a great area too to get out, you know, you're just outside technically downtown, but yet you feel like you're much in the country. Yes, yes, you definitely feel like you're in the country. You don't have neighbors right on top mm -hmm. of you or anything like that. And then on the inside, again, it feels very spacious. Well, the room, the picture that shows the fireplace with the mm -hmm. hardwood flooring looks huge. It is, and that is the living room, and then on the back side of it is actually the dining room. And wow. then you go into kind of a family room, den area, something like that off that back porch. But it's a really open room. That room also has uh, cathedral ceilings that are covered in the wood slats. Really pretty room. Wow, this is another one that it looks good from the outside. But you're really, if you're thinking about it, you need to get on the inside and, and take a walk through. Absolutely. We'd be more than happy to get you in there. Okay. Let's give your, your website because everything that we're listing, we're limited to four pictures uh, because of how the show is structured. But a lot of these listings, if you look on the website, there are more than four photos. Yes. The website is rbnw.com. And if you don't have access to that for some reason, all the pictures should also upload on realtor.com and zillow.com. Right, so a lot of options. You can't say you can't find these homes. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> now the last one we're gonna talk about today is in Pike County, but it has a Jenkins address. This is one that's a little bit confusing, <laughs> but it's, it's Blaze Branch. Correct. If you're familiar with the Dorton area, you're gonna mm -hmm. take that turn off on 805 right there at Dorton Elementary. Um, and that area, it's Dorton Jenkins Highway, and a lot of the addresses are a Jenkins address. Don't know why, but it is Pike County. Um, so when you're going up through there, Blaze Branch is only a little over a mile um, up mm -hmm. on Dorton Jenkins Highway, and then this is about four tenths of a mile at Blaze Branch. So it's a very convenient location. Mm -hmm. You know, and if, if you're one of those that has family in, in Pike and Letcher County, if, if maybe you're, you know, a lot of families are split on where they work. Some mm -hmm. have to commute a lot. Well, if you've got a family that commutes between Letcher County and Pike County, this could be a good way to take care of both of those. Exactly. And this, the location is very, very convenient. So if you mm -hmm. have any ties to that area, this is one that I would definitely recommend looking at. And then the major bonus, I think, to most people, this comes with 30 acres. Oh, wow. Which, you know, in this area, you just don't get that kind of no. acreage with residential property and you do actually have some usable acreage. What's around the house is fairly flat and then mm -hmm. you do have some additional flats with it. So, you know, a lot of people like to do the hiking. They mm -hmm. like to do the outdoors things. You know, some people like to hunt. So any of that is possible with this one uh, that's right in the, on the edge of the Pike Letcher County line. Yes. yes so $219.9 is the price on this one and like we said two car garage we didn't even get a chance to mention that three bedrooms two bathrooms if this is something that you are interested in definitely give jennifer a call uh, or send her an email let's give your email out one more time okay the email is jbrown at rbnw.com now we've gone through five listings it seems like it's no quicker than any other show but it seems like we've flown through these hopefully people are taking notes and i hear that a lot i hear people will say I get my pen out when the show comes on because there's certain things we say they want to remember. Uh, so, and maybe people are writing down right now, New Year's resolutions. I want to be in this house first of the year. Yeah, and keep in mind that, you know, if your New, year, New Year's resolution is to sell your house, we can also get your house on the show and go ahead and list it and help you sell it as well. Right, and all four of your office locations are listed on the website, mm -hmm. and that's rbandw.com. Correct. All right, I think you have one more thing to say and I'm gonna slip out and let you give your real estate minute. With the end of the year just around the corner, the Ray Brown and Williams family would like to sincerely thank our viewers, customers, clients, and friends for another awesome year. RBNW is proud to serve the people of Eastern Kentucky in many real estate venues. Our family wishes your family a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. We look forward to working with you in 2018. Thank you for joining us for the show and I'll see you next year.